Hi folks and welcome back here for another Cinema 4D tutorial. Today I'd like to share an idea about how to create some animated ribbons. So it, uh, we're going to create something like this. So it's not the marvelous piece of animation of course, but um, it's just to um, share the idea and um, show you the technique. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to create is just a sphere. And we're going to change to the top view. And we're going to draw a spline. So grab a busier spline. And just start to draw a spline around the sphere. Something like this maybe. Uh, maybe like so. It's just for the sake of this tutorial, I think it's good enough. So go back to the perspective view. Select some of the points. Move them a bit. Right. So right, the next step is just to uh, create um, a cloner, create a new sphere, make it small, about 10, make it a child of your cloner. And now you're going to add um, a line to spline tag to your cloner and drag in the spline we've created. And now we're going to animate the position so uh, go back to the beginning of your animation, hit control, control click on position, go to the end of the animation and type 100%, control click once again and um, switch on the tangential mode, like so. Um, uh, I'm just going to select my keyframes here and set the mode to linear. So you have a constant speed. Just like so. So go to your cloner and set the Y position down to zero. So all of our clones are at the same position. Increase the count to 5 maybe. And now with the cloner selected we're going to add a random effector. And in the random effector you can just play around with the position of your uh, of your clones. I'm using something like I don't know. Like so maybe. Uh, not too bad. So we play back. Yeah, why not? I think it's good. So with the cloner selected, we're going to add a tracer. And the um, our cloner is now part of the tracer. And when we play back, it starts to draw a new spline or five splines actually for each clone. Uh, one spline for each clone. Uh, we're going to limit the length of our uh, tracer spline. So set the limit to from end and type something like 20. So play back. Yeah, why not? So switch off the visibility of your clones and the visibility of your spline. Just concentrate on the new uh, tracer splines. Right, so let's add, of course, add a sweep nerves. Make a rectangle spline for profile. Drag in the tracer. 
and adjust the settings for for the uh, profile spline. Oh, it's just the other way around. It's 5 to 20 in my example. You have to switch off the banking and you can play around with the details of your sweep moves. You can adjust the scale, maybe add a new point here. So and you have something like a narrow. You can play around with the rotation. I'm just going to leave it like that. So this is a basic um, basic way to create multiple multiple um, um, ribbons. So if you want to have a, a more uh, random movement, go to your random effector. Go to uh, random mode and set it to noise. Set it to index and bring down the animation speed to something like 10. And now when you play it back, you have a pretty organic organic movement of your um, of your ribbons looking like a bunch of eels or something and it's looking kind of edgy and this is because we have to adjust the um, tracer splines so go to your tracer and set the type to maybe cubic, cubic is good set it to uniform, increase the uh, the count so it's nice and smooth and when you pull it back you have something like uh, this I'm going to make them red so you can see them well folks basically that's it and uh, I hope you get it if you have any question just drop me a line and um, see you soon bye bye